I am free. I am a free man. When you hear that, what do you think? Cost? Don't get any ideas. <laughs> Most likely, freedom came to mind. Dear Toastmaster Chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests, my task today is to ensure that when you hear the word free software, you think about freedom, regardless of the cost. In the old days, people used to write programs and share them with other people, and everybody learned from the experience. Most recently, some people started seeing software as a product, something to sell. As with any product, the less available it is, the higher the price. So they made it proprietary. For them, sharing it reduced the value of the software. Around the same time, probably in the mid-80s, some people had the completely opposite experience. They saw that sharing software increased the value, and they called it free software. Notice how I say that they made it free. They didn't make it for free. They defined software, free software, as having the following four characteristics. You have the freedom to share that software with whoever you want. You have the freedom to use that software for any purpose you want. Not just what the person that wrote it original thought of. You have the freedom to modify it to suit your needs. If it didn't do exactly what you wanted, you have the right to change it. And you have the freedom to redistribute those modified copies that you made. Implied in these freedoms is the freedom to access the source code, the program that makes, that makes the software. But we're not all programmers. How do you relate to that? How can we all relate to that? Well, in our modern society, we rely on computers more and more. And the more we rely on computers, the more we rely on the software that runs on those computers. Think about your digital footprint. How much do you depend on digital content? Your personal data is certainly there. Whatever you read, the music that you listen to, and in some cases, even your political choices when you vote. We can still share a book with a friend or make photocopies of that book. We can transfer our old cassette tapes or LPs to a CD or to another digital format. We have that right. We have that legal right. But as we rely now on the software that interprets that digital content, we also depend on the people that make it and sell it. If you use, if you take pictures of your children, or record something that you sang, or you write a novel, you may do it with intention of sharing wit with others. If you do it in proprietary software, you can not share it if that content can only be read by that proprietary software. In fact, you cannot share the content that you created yourself. And I have some experience uh, on that. A long time ago, I got a program to manage all my financial data. It worked very well for me for several years until I decided to get a new computer. I went, installed the software on the new computer, and he decided to go ask for verification to the vendor. It was my software. What was he asking for verification for? I bought it. Well, the vendor no longer provided verification for that version of the software. They deemed it too old. It was good for me, but they deemed it too old. The only way for me to access my data 
was to buy the new version. In fact, they kept my data ransom. If you want to see your data again, <laughs> the same happened to my father with trial software. He bought some equipment, got the software, started creating things, many hours of work. A month later, you don't have access to your data unless you buy the software. If you want to see your data again, again, my data was got hostage. So if that is now, what can we expect 100 years from now, where software vendors may be up, go out of business, software versions may no longer exist, digital formats may change? So next time that you think about free software, think about the freedom to access the content on your own terms. Freedom to share what you have created. Freedom to choose what software you are going to use for that content. And most important, make the decision now to start using free software to exercise those rights.